Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas. In the last episode, we went over in that direction. Well, not first. First, what we did is we went over in this direction over here. We made a bit of a pattern. Luckily, we didn't... I don't think we've done anything accidental. <laughs> whenever we, whenever you do things like this, you always have to double check, like, have I created a horrible symbol? N no, I think we're good. I'm, I'm really, I'm like tilting my head trying to, I think we're safe. I think we're fine. <laughs> but we traveled far and wide. Uh, and particularly what we were looking for were bits like this. Uh, these little underwater areas because they have uh, magma, magma blocks. Now, I didn't realize that some of the corners underneath had magma blocks. So it probably would have been done a little bit sooner rather than how, how much traveling it ended up taking. Um, but we cooled those down with a fan, which we also hooked up. So down there you can see this little fan to wash stuff. Uh, and we have another portal. Now, you may notice something. I've got a grave key on me. <laughs> we have a job to do. Uh, now, we died in the nether, so we'll have to go back and grab that. Uh, the place we died in the nether is pretty much equivalent to where this is, the zombie spawner. Um, we were going to try and make a mob farm. Now, just before I do this, we need to think this through a little bit because what happened was we exploded and fell down. Luckily, not into lava. We fell onto like an island or something. So I'm going to have to get to that island. Uh, we do have a backup pickaxe that we can make use of because I'm imagining we're going to have to be doing a little bit of that. Uh, and we can bring some stuff, I guess. Maybe like, mm, there's probably no point bringing cobble. You know what I mean? Because you can't really get away with placing it too well. Um, we've got some leftover wood here. Why Why not? I mean, ooh, oh, yes! <laughs> we got to see a tree grow. Beautiful. Um, so that one tree gave us, it looks like, uh, five saplings. Because obviously it's placed in here. We've got another tree. These ones, this one's ready to grow as well. Um, so that's pretty good. And in terms of logs, we got more than 16, which is good. I believe the hickory trees were giving us... Um, Pretty much just 16. I guess it depends on, on which ones grow. Um, but, nevertheless, I'm quite excited about that. Um, so, all this stuff's fallen. We've got sticks in here. We've got... What do we have? <laughs> We've got 16 logs there and two logs in the chute. Sticks there. Nothing in that chute. Nothing there. Is there anything still on this? See... <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. Because there's clearly... There's some missing logs right now, right? And it's like, where are they? Have they fallen on the ground? It doesn't look like it. But with that bit, like, I don't know where they are. I mean, we can take sticks out. Nothing else shows up. Yeah. I, I am a little concerned that they're voiding themselves. Um, either way, it's still fun to look at. I, I am a big fan of this uh, tree farm we have. There he goes. No mess. And then some more luck. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Y yeah. You know what I am Yeah. So currently we've got 16 logs and then two logs in there. And that's it. We'll, we'll come back later and, and check in on that, I guess. Um, Alright, so I've got food. We're going to jump in the nether. I will meet you guys pretty much where we died. Oh, I won't have gold. Which means zombies may be a problem. The, the zombie pigmen, piglins. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, it, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We, do, we just got to get somewhere. And it's a pretty straight run to get there, as far as I'm aware. The problem is, specifically where we died, was it like a temple or something? So, um... Oh, oh God. Um... And so the risk of... Oh, yeah. Okay, there he is. Um, the risk of dying is is probably quite high. Uh, we could... I could dig some stuff up. You know what I mean? Because you get a decent amount of this stuff. Oh. Zeganite shard. A light and sturdy material sometimes found with other metals. And we can turn that into... Oh, a bunch of... um Different machines, it looks like. Machine part mold. And then you get machine parts, and you can make some chassis and stuff to make some things and stuffs and... <laughs> sure. Um, anyhow, yeah, well, I guess we'll grab gold as we go, in case that's going to somehow save our life. I, I doubt it, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I will also say, I've just noticed, um, the water bar that does appear to be impacted, I guess we'll say. Um, by what's going on. Um, so, so yeah, actually, before we even continue, I will have to be careful of some of the mobs around here. Also, these shaders are way too glowy. In, in, yeah, there we go. Let's just turn it down a little bit. Um, so, we died... Actually, there. Oh, that's quite easy to get to from here. Um, there's some guys over there. It does look... I'm hoping there's no hoglins 
around us, but they could be. We're, we'll see, we'll see. I, I think we're good there. Do you reckon they're gonna get mad at us? I, I never know which ones are the ones that just don't like you existing versus um, don't like you attacking them. Okay, so these guys are friendly. Assuming I don't attack them, um, we can get over there pretty easily, it looks like. All right, so we're here. I mean, honestly, pretty good, pretty good situation here. Uh, what I may do is I will drop useless stuff there. I'm going to drop relatively important stuff over here, just so that when I pick this up, it doesn't go into the lava. That's sort of the main thing I'm thinking of. Yeah, because as you can see, it did make a bit of a mess. Uh, we want that to be on. Lots of netherrack, obviously not as important. So we'll leave that there and then just pick up all this stuff and I'll drop some more netherrack. We'll probably use it for building anyway, so I will pick up a little bit, but nice. Mission <laughs> mission success. To be honest, we could probably just go right back up there. Um, is it a good idea or a bad idea? Probably a bit of both, if we're being honest, but hey, we'll do it. I'm pretty sure netherrack, you can build it as high as you want, and I don't think we're going to die. Um, the main concern would, of course, be if I lag off this pillar, <laughs> which, which I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put past happening. Um, we also have endermen on the map. Endermen are pretty good. We do want ender pills at some point. Um, so, what happened was, there was a chest full of goodies, right? And it blew up after I opened it. And so, two things happened. One is I fell and died. Uh, the other is, I may actually just get rid of this lava, just so that, I mean, that, that solves the problem, right? Um, but the other thing is, that all the items fell on the ground, right? Which means it's possible, like, if that's still on the ground, then it's possible that there's still goodies up here. Although, I will be honest with you. Doesn't really look like it, does it? <laughs> um, no. I mean, we can walk around. I, I think our best chance would be that they could be down there. But it really doesn't look like it. I think plenty of TNT went off that anything that did exist uh, is broken at this point. Um, but that's fine. I, I was mainly here to think like, hey, we could take the uh, obsidian or even use the portal. Because we need to teleport. <laughs> Sorry for... You know, all the, all the talking going on. We need to teleport. Um, oh. Huh. All my waypoints are gone. Are they not? Oh, uh, no, here they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, not a clue. Not a clue what I did. Um, but yeah, we need to teleport through there in the overworld, right? So, this may be close enough, right? Maybe? Because I'm going to have to make a portal anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. We should have a... We don't have a fire starter. This is actually very annoying. Um, hmm. We don't have a fire starter. Uh, and I threw the sticks away. I may, I, may, I may go back for the sticks, unless I can make a stick out of planks. We can do that. Alrighty, sticks. We're obviously going to turn those into a fire starter. I'll throw those into the endless abyss. Uh, we will go ahead and light this up. Bada bing, bada boom, perfect, uh, he can stay there, and we'll jump in, because we can't pick up the nether portal, unless we bring a mining drill with, and I, I did, didn't do that, um, and it would still take a while, I don't think we have the hunger for it, okay, so, here we are, the zombie spawn is, you know, 400 meters away, obviously, it would be nice to be over there, I'm just trying to think, like, do we need to be over there? Hmm, like, can I get away with this being here? I mean, we can drill it up. You know what I mean? If anything... Hmm. If anything, I can drill this one up, build it over there. You know what I mean? That that may be the better option. Did we bring anything good with us? No. I really wish from that last episode that I brought the waystone back. <laughs> There's like a waystone all the way over here somewhere. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, We'll head back. I'm going to grab a drill. Yeah, probably just one drill. Uh, we'll drill up that nether portal. And then we'll work on getting a path back. If I can figure out where to walk without falling and dying. But yeah, um, the, the point as well, in case I didn't make it clear, is uh, there's a spawner. And we've got it in a minecart. And we're trying to bring that back uh, to our base. So uh, that's sort of what the deal is at the moment. Um, the alternative, by the way, is that we push the cart that far. The issue I have is obviously getting the cart up a hill. 
Um, maybe we can push it. Uh, what would redstone... Uh, what would powered rails cost? Powered rails would cost us some gold. Not too bad, honestly. The problem is that we don't have gold. <laughs> you know? Oh, two ingots for... Four gold rods. That seems really good. Okay. Uh, you know what? Because we can turn these into ingots, right? I can just craft them. We're going to do some mining. That's what we're going to do. We can, we can do that easily. We can make powered rails. Uh, I don't think we have to move the portal if we get our hands on some powered rails. Uh, are these guys cool? Oh, yeah. I've got gold on. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if... Uh, do they get mad if I mine? Okay. They do. They do. They do. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, dude. Really? 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 You know, I'm pretty sure I've got a sword, buddy. Okay. Um, what'd I get? How'd you get that? What's that for? Retrieve an affix item from a random monster. What would we get? Hmm. Oh, the bow. Um, projectile arrow. Base speed and arrow speed. Okay. I am wondering... Like, that, that guy, I'll be honest, he didn't do that much damage. Uh, I feel pretty confident in my ability to um, <laughs> just kill them if we need to. Uh, now, obviously, he's one of the bow guys. If a pig, like a, one of these guys, gets mad at us, we're, we're done. There's no coming back from that. Oh, there's also the ability to farm gold using these guys. Uh, you know what? We have so many options at the moment. It, we genuinely have so many options. Uh, what do we do? Do we set up a piglin spawner? Because if I look in here, piglin spawner, zombified piglin, and these guys drop like, you know, gold nuggets, obviously, um, and other stuff. I'm, I'm sure we'd get crazy loot from it. Is that, oh, is that something we want to do? Because, I mean, we're trying to set up a zombie spawner to get iron. If we had a piglin spawner as well, we get gold. It's win, 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 win. And, oh. Oh, oh, it's actually pretty good because we could do infinite powered rails. You know what I mean? Like if, if we needed to gold, set up a gold farm, the only downside would be the, the redstone. That'd be the tricky part. And I'll be honest, I don't really know how to get redstone. So it is, so it is quite tricky. We would need cinnabar or something. Um, or we could wash iron ore. We don't really have iron ore, so we're probably not going to do that either. Um, but it's an option. It's there. Uh, potion strength, cinder flower. Iron or crushed iron ore, and we get that from from iron, raw iron, and we get raw iron from all this other stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, we'd probably use gold for other stuff too. What do you reckon? <laughs> I, I really don't. Know. I wasn't planning for it. That's why I'm sort of. Uh, I think it's a good idea, especially this. Like, it's already here. All we do is we build a room. We can't flow anything, right? Because we don't have water. That's a, that's a slight problem. But it's not that big of a problem. Because realistically, these can all just fall, uh, fall into a room. And the way that these mobs work, if I hit one, they'll all sprint into the corner anyway. And then I can just, you know, hit them with something else as well. Uh, what else can we use? I, I mean, in this mod, surely there's plenty of stuff. Like, I know there's a Tesla coil that you can do. That's pretty fun. Two different Tesla coils. Um... Spikes? Blood magic spikes? Different spikes? Uh, I don't know. Can I mine this? I know that we're dehydrating, but I'll tell you what. I'll dig this stuff up. We'll at least get gold so that maybe I can powered rail the stuff up the hill, right? Because realistically, we could do both spawners here. I don't have to take it all the way back to my base, realistically. I mean, I'd probably want it there, maybe, but I guess if we've got a spawner here as well. Yeah, I, I think it's all coming together. I, th I think it's sounding pretty good, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, um, so yeah, I'll keep digging this stuff up. Um, I'll, or I won't. Okay, what do I need to get rid of? Alright, but yeah, I'm going to head back to the base. Uh, I think? Yeah, because I, I still need redstone and stuff. So I'll head back to the base. Um, I'll, I'll gather my thoughts, try and figure out what exactly we're doing. Oh. Are you coming for me, or are you... Nope, okay, we're good, I think. Um, magma cube? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the the water we had was so, uh, so small. Alright. Oh, no, it's still raining. I just can't see the particles. <laughs> Delicious. 
Wonderful. Okay, nice. We're fully charged. Um, does anyone remember what I'm doing? <laughs> I need to. I need to build a spawner. I, I think what we do is we have them all just fall. You know what I mean? So that fall, so that they're out of range of the spawner, and then go from there. Right. That then we could do like an encased fan sort of situation. That that is an option. We could maybe do lava. I don't, I don't really think we can, but yeah, maybe we could. I don't know if you can wooden bucket lava. You probably you probably can't. Um, maybe we could pump uh, lava somewhere to have it flow, and then the lava can push them into into the corner like a traditional mob farm. Uh, what other fans do we have? Do we just this? Okay, we do have conveyor belts. Both the immersive engineering ones and... Oh, oh, God. And create ones. Both of which are an option. The create ones aren't too bad. Like, like for what for what they do, I guess. But, um, yeah, anyway. But, yeah. 17 gold from that little trip. I'd, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Um, it's definitely very good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Lots of blocks and stuff. Do we have a block chest? Not really. Our inventory is getting horrific. Um, I mean, it's already been horrific, but there was a little bit of rhyme to the reason. Now there's pretty much none of that. Uh, all right. So first things first. Let's see. Do we even have a piece of redstone? We do. We have one redstone that I'm suggesting we use to make a powered rail. Um, the good argument against that would be that I could instead push it up a different way. Maybe I could just physically push it up. You know what I mean? Like if we just did one little block at a time as opposed to a full solid ramp then I can push it up one block you know what I mean I, I think maybe I, I do think powered rail is probably just the play um, but obviously there's a lot of things to do with redstone and we don't have a source of redstone we've gotten all of our redstone from like uh, drops and, and, and chests and stuff I think it's worth it though I, I think I'm going to do it we'll grab uh, six of those that should be good Go ahead and uh, give this a shot. I do need sticks, of course. Um, two sticks. Boom, boom. Redstone. And we have ourselves... Not what we want. Why not what we want? Um, rail. Powered rail. Oh. Huh. So I could do rods, which use half the gold, and you get more than double the rails. Uh, that sounds like a good deal to me. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, so we do that, and then we get 16 powder rounds, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 cool, N nice deal, nice deal, P pleasure doing business with you, <laughs> um, okay, I will need redstone to power it, I didn't think about that, but it, it's fine, you know, we can use a stick and, and a little bit of cobble, I'm still scrolling, and it's giving me two p pieces of things at a time, which is, Honestly, very annoying, and I still do not know how to fix that. <laughs> I also haven't read the comments. I, I forgot to do that, so I'll, I'll try to do that at some point. Um, so I'm going to dig out the hole. We can probably build the walls up with the netherite that I dig out. Uh, yeah. I can't, I can't really think of anything else that I need at the moment. Apart from the rails themselves, I think I must have put some of those away because we had a decent amount. Um, yeah, it looks like these. Rails, card assemblers. I've got the lever on me. Sure, <laughs> sure. All right, I'll I'll meet you guys back there. Every time these bosses spawn, I'm like, all right, we'll do it. I don't see it. Usually, when they say that they spawn, you can see them through walls. Maybe I was just out of range. Nope, I don't see him. Alrighty. Uh, before we try to bring it back, I think we should remodel as one of these uh pillars into being a mob spawner. I, I do think that is the play. Um, or a mob grinder, I should say. So, in each of these pillars, I believe, is a spawner. That's what it looks like. So, another zombified piglin spawner. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to space this out. Now, the problem is they're going to spawn where I'm mining. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, that's just going to be a problem. Uh, they have, if we hold control, you can see the spawn delays, how many they spawn at a time, the maximum amount of entities in the radius of them, and also the uh, range that it gets activated. So 16 blocks um, close to it and it'll activate. Um, you can put items into these to change those conditions, which is pretty cool. So we, we'll probably do that obviously at some point. Um, but at the moment, we'll just, I guess, open this up a bit. 
Uh, oh, some of these make some interesting sounds that are a bit scary. Oh, there's quite a bit of a drop. I, I didn't realize. That, that'll probably work in our favor. We won't have to dig up as much. Oh, a boss spawned. Are we good? <laughs> I think we're safe. I don't... I don't see any glowing mobs in the near vicinity. So I think we're good for now. Oh, no, it's not... Oh, it's my pickaxe um, replacing itself. I, I thought that was a pop-up for the mob spawning. That, that's probably what happened before as well. Alright, so it's not perfect, but... It should be working. I, I believe this currently works. Now, um, if we swing at these guys, bad times happen, right? Horrific times happen. Um, I'm also not sure... That, yeah, he's lost some health. I think I need to bring this wall out a little bit more. I, I was going to just not, but I think I need to. Alright, well, I ran out of building blocks. <laughs> so, we're using wood. There we go. Um, so, that should work. Um, what we should be able to see... He's obviously down here. A little bit of a mess has been made, but it's fine. Alright, so. What do we do with this? Uh, we need a way to kill them. <laughs> and I, I, I really don't know. I, I didn't think this far ahead, to be to be frank with you. Um, there is another option, actually. I, I will say. That option is that we build a staircase up and we completely enclose our path, right? The, benef the benefit of that means that I can swing at these guys... And we don't have to worry about uh, the rest of their friends uh, meeting up with us later. So, yeah, why not? Uh, I'll be honest, it sounds like the play. Alright, so currently, there's little gaps where zombie piglins can get through, but I don't think that matters. They may be able to hit me on bits like that, but we can cover that up later. Um, and then this goes that way, and I think it'll be far enough regardless that if it is an issue, it won't be an issue. You know what I mean? Like, if they... Yeah. Yeah, like, if it's open over there, I don't think they're going to care by the time I get there. Lots of rhyming happening, unintentionally. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens. I'll probably maybe do a bit of that there. And then if this guy buggers off, maybe we'll uh, patch that up as well. Yeah. Shall we? I'll tell you what, if we die, we can get back here. So, test number one. Oh. Oh, there we go. I was going to say... Oh! Okay. I wasn't sure if the baby pig ones were an issue. They are. I'm going to die here, but it's actually fine. It's fine. We'll, we can get back there. That, that's not the issue. <laughs> it was a problem-solving exercise, okay? Um, I'm not even going to go back with uh, this like spirit mode in, because what I'll do is I'll bring the netherrack and... Oh, actually, it doesn't really care that I grab netherrack. I didn't expect that. I thought it would be mad at me. Okay, but yeah, we can do that. Sweet. Yeah, I'll meet you back at the base. Or oh, back at the nether base. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to convince myself that it's all good. Alright. Home, sweet home. Beautiful. This is obviously empty. All of them, all of them despawn, thankfully. We'll cover that up. <laughs> and every single gap up here we will cover up as well. Um, because we don't really want to keep dying. You know what I mean? Boom, boom. Nice. Uh, it's obviously pretty dark. We can place a torch or two, I guess. Help it out a little bit, maybe in the offhand. Um, but, nice. <laughs> Here we go. So, we've got our pickaxe. We'll put the sword down. Yeah. And then, I guess we begin. So, there is another thing that I guess is important. And we can make this work. What do I want to do? I would like to have some slabs in here. So let's go one, two, three, four, and we'll make a crafting table. Um, boom. Can I make netherrack slabs? Oh, that would have been awesome. That would, it genuinely would have been insane. Uh, is there blackstone slabs? I think there is, right? Yes, there is. Okay, so what we'll do is I'll hot swap some of these out. So I'll do a bit of that because I do want some slabs. Can I place a block like that? I can. Perfect. So. Break this, place that, yep, break this, place that. Perfect. Okay, so, we're gonna grab slabs, because then we can take the loot way easier. Um, so by that I mean, we'll do this, this, and this, and then we'll break that, huh? Now, baby piglins, yes, they'll be able to get through, slight problem. 
um, until they spawn. Because at the moment, they're not spawning, so they're not a problem. But we'll kill the ones in here, and then as you can see, we'll be able to grab their loot. Now, I do think that the baby piglins can spawn there, if they so choose. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. Uh, now, is there a point in doing this? For us, specifically. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, you know what, actually? Can we sneak that? Yes. Uh, we may as well use this. Now, it doesn't have that much durability, but it was free. Oh, okay, yeah. So that, that is a problem, as you can see. Oh, but he, oh, he paid the big bucks. Um, we can solve this with slabs as well. We'll slowly, we'll, we'll fix that. Obviously, they can just run through here, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Let me get rid of the remaining ones here. Oh, we've got a friend coming. <laughs> I, saw him, I saw him do the thing. Don't even think about it. No. Perfect. Let's just get rid of these last ones, and then I can start replacing the wall. Okay, sweet. So, we've cleaned up in terms of they're dead. <laughs> now we'll pick up this stuff. One, two, and three. That may be enough to do what we want. There's some angry guys above us, but we'll ignore them for a bit. So we'll cover that up. Um, we'll probably do the same thing here, I guess, to like stop the baby piglins through. See, like these guys don't care about us. Um, so how do we want to do that? I think we keep that there. Keep that there. I just kind of want to corner the stand to grab the loot. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's some benefits to do other things. Maybe we place a create fan in here that pushes them this way. That could be nice. It, listen, it's an option. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think. Like, are we happy with this? If I make that a, a thing as well? Maybe. Let me just kill these guys again. Alright, sweet. Um, so let's go ahead and place that there. And we'll just place our... Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh. That was a very scary sound. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Um, this should work. We can walk in there. Um, yeah, what am I hearing at the moment? I think these guys are just like furious with me. Um, anyhow, as you can see, we're going to start getting some goodies. It's going to be awesome. Rotten flesh stacks of 13. Oh, it's because some's rotten. And some is not rotten. Not sure on the math on that one, but it's it's fine. Uh, we've got a reward, which is a curse of bones. We also got uh, a healing spell, I guess. We're getting a bunch of these little grave dusts and stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what's the plan currently? Uh, good question. I reckon we make a chest. We already had chests. Uh, I reckon we use a chest and. Maybe we store, like, the rotten flesh in there. Stuff I don't want to bring back. Which isn't much, to be honest. Ah, we'll put that stuff there, too. Maybe the grave dust as well. Uh, so... Let me figure out what I'm going to do here. Alright, so uh, I've been doing some thinking. Uh, the first thing that I think <laughs> is the mobs are way too loud. Let's just lower that. Uh, the second thing is... I don't really know what my plan is. I, I was trying to think of a way to kill them. There's a few different ways. One way I was thinking was using like a create uh, mechanical saw. You know what I mean? And, and like that's doable, I guess. But I'd have to do work for that and I don't really want to. Um, we could make a pump, pump lava into a tank. Bring the tank over here and pump it out somewhere, right? To, to cause the death. We could use a piston. We could do any of that sort of stuff. I was also thinking what I could do is anger these guys... To the point where they all fall down into this hole. Which it sort of looks like they're doing, right? Maybe to a certain extent. Maybe maybe if I get a good hit on them, they'll all come down. Um, but my point was that I could just drop like gravel on them. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to do a fancy strap for it. Um, but yeah. So I, I don't really know. Oh, we got, we got some bundles and stuff as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I don't really know. I would love... For a way to automate this, I think in order to automate it, um, we would need to get our hands on like uh, lava or something. I feel like I can go out here and I don't think I'm going to die to piglins. I, I might. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but what I was... Oh. Uh, what I was going to say was we should see what's near us. Oh, we could do netherrack actually. Fire starter on netherrack. That adds up, doesn't it? That would be fire. and oh, I don't know if they take damage from fire though. I guess that's part of the issue, right? Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I'm not, not too sure what the play is. I don't even know if they take damage from lava. I, I'm assuming they do. They might not even. I'll tell you what. At the moment, I'm not being slaughtered by these mobs. Let's take that as a message. Oh, we also have someone else who's awoken nearby. I, I do not see them. Oh, there they are. Um, Kind of out of the way. Uh, let, let's go see if we can do this. That's... Mother Daria Dala, the Dragonborn. I mean, they have a pretty cool name. I, I'll give them that much. Um, oh, hey, buddy. Um, yep, you guys are cool with me. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, oh, I do want to get rid of that uh, that Enderman, by the way, just real quick. So in other words, let's stand here, and he's gone. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. All right. Oh, wait, no, he's still there. Oh, okay. He, he, he just blended in. Um, there he is. Make eye contact. He'll be on his way. We look away and he magically teleports to us. Ta-da! Oh, couldn't help himself. They they all do that. All right, well, he just teleported the way and has not revealed himself, so I have a feeling that he died somewhere. Cool. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad I got that ender pill. Uh, all right. Oh, there's actually there's quite a few, quite a few piglins out here. Um, a decent few. That's fine. That's fine. They'll they'll figure out what they're doing later. Uh, so we need to bring a thingy 300 meters away, all the way over here. Can it be done? Yes. Is it going to be annoying? Yes. Will we give up? Probably. Uh, I'll be honest with you. We, we'll probably give up at some point. I mean, I'm happy with the fact that we have a zombie piglin farm. That That's good. You know what I mean? I can get gold without having to go mining. That's that's good. I, I can, you know, <laughs> I guess I'd have to AFK there. But I could set up, you know, we, we can upgrade it is, is the, I guess, the more important point. Um, this is going to be a purely a bonus. Now, with that being said, there's some wolves there, but there's also water there. Where's the sun? Hmm, soon. Alrighty, so here's our guy. Obviously, it's as a little minecart. Now, once again, uh, just to double check, you can't pick this guy up. Um, we're, we're not able to do that. So we do have to send it the direction we want it to go. <laughs> uh, so let's see if we can do that. Um, so, in terms of pushing it, not too viable without, you know, I guess rails at least. Uh, so we'll set up rails. Obviously, we're going to try and also send them up here. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know the proper proper rail etiquette. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure there is one. Um, that should be plenty fast. Maybe a bit of that there. And we're just going <sighs> to try to get to the portal. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We'll see if we can get there. We're going to be doing about like 30 rails at a time. Um, now, I do realize each of these things... Like, like, this isn't really going to work, is it? No. I think what I do is I'll replace those rails and we'll just have, like, a line of uh, powered rails earlier, if that makes sense. For example, this. We do that, then I can uh, power them, and they should all be powered. Yep, beautiful. And so then all I need to do is get this guy onto that rail, and then he starts moving. He's still pretty rough to push, so I'm, I'm glad I did get the powered rails. And then, bloop, there he goes. All right, he shouldn't come back, hopefully. So then we pick everything up. Uh, I think you can wrench these. Yes, beautiful. That's going to save us a lot of pickaxe power. Oh, you can also just, yeah, hold right click on them. Cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's that's it. Just thought I'd do a little update. Uh, progress is being made. We're about 100 meters in, 200 meters in maybe. Um, just going up this hill here. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's going pretty good. Essentially, I just push it. It goes along quite quite effortlessly. We pick up all this stuff, pick that guy up. Um, and it hasn't rolled back on me just yet. And obviously now that we're going downhill a bit, it's gonna be pretty good, but then we gotta go back up that hill, but it's, it's fine, it's, it's not too bad. All right, um, honestly, gone pretty well. So we'll place that guy there, he'll go here. Uh, yeah, yep, that should be good. That'll obviously come here, fall down here. And we are pretty much there, obviously. Uh, so then finally, that's what will happen. <laughs> and this should this should work. If this doesn't work, that'll be very upsetting and the episode will end. But if it does work, it'll be pretty cool. And the episode still might end. Uh, I'm not too sure how much I want to do here. 
Um, but we'll see. So push that. That'll hopefully make a, a decent trip. And I believe it's already... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I didn't read the comments on today's video. Or, or yesterday's video, sorry. And I'm starting to think that... Uh, this may have been told. Mm, uh, it's possible I need to put like a seat on it. I've definitely heard that before. Um, hmm. Okay, so yeah, we're here. And there's no, uh, there's no, it didn't, you know, follow me through. All right. Okay. 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 Um, honestly, not sure. Not sure. I, I know of an option, right? It's not a pretty one, though. Um, if we were to take this to the base, how far away is that? A thousand meters. Hmm. It's not... It's not horrible. Like, it's, it's pretty bad. But, like, it's not horrible at all. If we got to the top, right? If we went to the top of this mountain, and I just mined up a bunch of netherrack, and I just built a path, you know, it would take a little while, sure. But then we could just send it directly there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I don't know if that's a great idea or a bad idea or what it is. But it's an idea. Or, here's another idea. Why don't we just set up another spawner here? You know what I mean? Because then we've got the zombie spawner literally just to, like on the other side of this portal. You know, a few, few steps away. And then we've got a zombie spawner right here. You know what? Not a bad idea. Not not a horrible idea, especially since it's not going through the portal. Um, with that being said, ignore the portal sounds you'll be hearing for a little bit as I keep resetting it just to push this thing away. <laughs> I'd probably place down rails. Um, yeah, we probably could do a train if we wanted to. The problem is a train is going to be very expensive, I would imagine. Yeah, like we need to set up deployers. We need to do stuff to it. So it's not expensive, but it's expensive. You know what I mean? It's effort. <laughs> Too much effort. We need labyrinths. Eh, man, yeah. Um, okay. Not bad, though. Not bad. Definitely not a bad location. Uh, one thing I'm not too sure of either is uh, the spawner working in the overworld. I don't really know how it works because it wasn't spawning stuff down there, but maybe that was because it was in the daylight. Too much light level. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll mess around with that next episode, though. Um, yeah. <laughs> All that, uh, yeah, okay. Hey, n hey, now we know. Now we know. Um, now, I know I could have teleported, like, I could have set up a waystone at where that spawner was. The few reasons against that one was, I, I don't know if I had a waystone at the time that I thought of going through the nether portal and doing all that sort of stuff. And and then when we got the waystone, I didn't think of it, you know what I mean? Because I already thought, that, thought of a solution. Um, that's one reason. The other reason is, I'm, I'm not too sure how the spawning works. As in, at the moment, I need to be near them. You know what I mean? Like, uh, for this guy down here, if we go ahead and walk down there. I'm not, I need to remember not to hit them because we've got a bunch of uh, piglins around here. Um, for this guy, I need to be near the spawner to spawn him. In order to fix that, like, if, if we wanted to not do that... Like, like, that's why I wanted it closer. You know what I mean? Because realistically, in, in the ideal world... It's at my base, like close enough to my base where it's just like a few steps away. You know, I don't have to go on an adventure to, just to get to the thing. Um, and then this was just going to be, you know, a little bit more convenient as well. Possibly, I mean, we, we have a path up here. Just to continue with my thought a, a little bit more here. We do have this path that leads to the other nether portal, a perfect path, that was intended to bring not only that spawner, but then probably a piglin spawner as well, now that we know that they exist, right? Back to the base. That, that, that was an idea. Um, and then they'd all be back at the base. That'd be cool. Um, but that, that fell flat, obviously, because <laughs> it won't go through. What was I saying? I, I feel like I was saying something down here. I don't really remember. Oh yeah, I was going to look up the spawner because you can do things, right? If I put a nether star in, it will, it doesn't need a player nearby and it will spawn. That's really good. That's, that's pretty much what we want, to be honest. We want it to just spawn regardless of where I am on the map. Because then I can chunk load it, bada bing, bada boom. Um, you can increase the, um, the maximum amount of entities allowed nearby. That doesn't matter since we've got them falling, right? So they're not in the range anyway. Um, the spawn count's good. Increase the amount that spawn at once. That's very, very good. 
Um, you can have 16 like piglins spawning at once, which is insane. Um, you can put wool on it and then it won't make any sound. Like none of the mobs will make sound. Really good. Uh, the chorus fruit, also really, really good. Uh, no AI means that the mobs just spawn. So the piglins, you hit them, they don't hit you back. They don't walk, they don't do anything. They're just no AI. It's really, really good. Um, faster spawn delays by, by doing the sugar. So spawn, 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 essentially. Activation range, we'll probably use this. You know, increase the range. 48 blocks, it looks like. You can have the range. Um, or at least plus 48, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever that measurement is. Plus 48 range. Sure. Um, redstone control, yep. Awesome. Uh, spawn. Redstone control is also good because we can turn that guy off while we're working on it. Honestly, not a bad idea. Maybe we'll bookmark that and hopefully hopefully remember. Spawn delay, blah, blah, blah. Dragon egg obviously gets rid of all spawn conditions. So ignores light, ignores however many mobs, ignores where I am, blah, 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 blah. And so on and so forth. And then if you're holding quartz in your offhand when you apply any of these, it does the opposite reaction. So for example, um, you can lower the spawn range so it's not spawning them outside of your mob spawner. But yeah, so, so those are those are sort of the things that are happening. Uh, please do give me some suggestions on how we can mash these mobs up. Keeping in mind my <laughs> inherently how lazy I am, right? Because I, like I know there's a lot of convenient things we can do that would be really nice, but th they involve effort. With that being said, for example, setting up a bunch of fans, not a bad idea. Once we have the zombie spawner set up and and we actually start getting iron from it, you know what I mean? Um, but we clearly need something at least just before then, you know what I mean? Just something to get us uh, to that point. Some some primitive way of mashing them up autom automatically as well so that I don't have to do anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you did, thank you. Um, ho hopefully it's fun. I don't really know what the thumbnail and stuff's gonna be. I guess maybe a simple one. <laughs> It'll probably just be this, right? There we go. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you, of course, to our channel members. Uh, thank you to our tier three channel members as well. So that's uh, Melizzy and Andre. Thank you guys so much uh, for helping me out. Don't feel pressured to. Um, they're purely donations. Don't don't feel as though oh, the episode got a little bit longer. Okay, hold on. You ready? Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, 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 no. You gotta come back. Yoo-hoo! Yep, 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 yep. <gasps> he, and he doesn't follow me. He's he's a tease. Why are you a tease? Hmm. <laughs> I really, I'd love for him to uh, come back over here to try and kill me. Hey, hey, psst. Psst. Oh, did he just go through the portal? <sighs> okay. Should we just go through? And then if we die, we die. I think so. I, I think it's a nice send-off. Alright, here it goes. Battle of the Wits. I don't believe I have a shield on me, so this is genuinely just gonna be... Oh my god! Okay, yeah, he's, he's very strong. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. It looks like he despawned as well or something. Not sure. Um, what 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 what'd we get? Ah, oh, no teleport. Um... Yeah, that's the other thing. The spawners will give us the ability to make uh, an actual grave. We'll be able to get those uh, those pieces you need. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye.